All right, guys, you got to check this out. This may be the coolest thing I've ever seen on a tuner. Today we're taking a closer look at the brand new tuner from Walrus Audio. This is a part of their Canvas line. I'm gonna run you down all the features as well as give you a brief review. I've been using this thing out on the road some as of late. I think this tuner has some really unique features in it that I've never seen on a tuner that I think a lot of people are really gonna love. All right, so first let's take a closer look. Obviously we've got our bypass or mute switch here. And then most of our navigation is gonna be done here on the side. We've got our USB-C plug here. This is how you can change out the photo that is on the bypass screen and I guess update it in the future. And then we've got down, menu, and up. These are kind of the main buttons that we'll be using to navigate through the menu. And then it's worth noting too that the bypass switch here, um, that's kind of acts as a back button there. We've got top mounted jacks and then our power supply plugs in right here on the side. That's your typical nine volt DC uh, negative tip. Um, and then they say that uh, 300 milliamps, I don't know actually how much it uses, I haven't tested it, but um, you know, it's gonna be a little more just because it's digital and it's got that really bright display. All right, so I've got it all hooked up now and I've hit the menu button there on the side and these are kind of our first options. I'm gonna kind of go through some of these and give you an idea of what all the options are. So for brightness here, um, we can adjust the brightness of the screen. I have it on four just because with the camera, it was kind of, um, it was so bright that it was just uh, not looking great on camera. So I have that turned down a bit, but even in sunlight, I feel like seven and eight was still visible in the sunlight and you still can go all the way up to 10. So plenty of brightness there, but you also have the ability to turn that down if it's just too bright. So this next feature, the orientation, honestly, another incredible uh, feature on this thing that I've never seen on another pedal. And that's just the ability to rotate the screen. So if we do it 90, then our screen now is turned 90 degrees, which means that, you know, on a pedal board, we could turn it, turn it sideways like this and tune. Now we also have the ability to do 90, 180, and even seven, uh, 270, which would mean you could turn it 90 degrees the other direction. But overall, a lot of flexibility there, which I think is, is great. I think a lot of people are really gonna love that feature. I typically have my tuner turned to the side and I've just gotten used to it. So color theme, this just allows us to change the color in person, that's orange. I don't know if that's showing up on camera like that. All right, and then our standby screen. This is what we saw at the very beginning of the, the video. You can actually upload a photo and that whenever you bypass off of the tuner, um, you can have whatever picture you want on there. Funny enough, I did not realize that this pedal did this and I was messing around with it. I was tuning it, just getting used to it. And then I hit bypass and this came up and it just, I lost it. I thought it was hysterical. Um, great job Walrus for putting that on there before you sent it to me. Your other options on that bypass screen are a screensaver that has the little Walrus logo bouncing around. And then canvas is just these colors here, just going all the way across. All right, some interesting uh, features here. We have mode, we have needle mode and strobe mode. I prefer the strobe mode, but the needle is what a lot of people are gonna be used to. It looks like this. The strobe mode looks like this. This is kind of my preferred way of tuning. Again, everybody's gonna have their preference, but having the ability to be able to switch between the two is pretty cool. 
So you probably also saw the uh, outline there. That is down here. This is this tune assist. You can turn that on and off. So you can either have that flash when you are in tune or you can just have it off. Tuning preset, chromatic, guitar, drop D, bass. I would anticipate Walrus would add some in the future. Um, I think the USB-C is going to give them a lot of options to be able to add stuff and tweak stuff over time. Transpose, capo one, et cetera, et cetera. Reference pitch, this allows you to change it from 440. In tune threshold. This is kind of interesting right here. Basically, you can change how close it is, um, you know, whenever it turns green or when that, that um, tuning assist comes on, you can change how sensitive that is. So if you're in a lot of situations where you just have to tune really quick or maybe you're, you know, tuning down, raising that threshold is going to kind of allow you to get there a little faster. It's not going to be as accurate, but um, you might find that it helps you in certain situations. So we've got different bypass modes here. Again, a very unique feature for a tuner. We can either have buffered bypass or true bypass, and then they have these different monitor mode uh, and pass through, just allowing you to either mute the signal or not mute the signal when you step on the button. Under about here, we've just got the ability to factory reset in case, you know, maybe there was an update later on and you wanted to go back to the factory. Um, I'm not sure why you would really need to use that, but maybe if you just kind of want to set it back to how it was, how it came in the box. All right, so a quick review. I just want to hit some bullet points here. First of all, I think overall it's a great tuner and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to folks. Um, I think that the features are incredible. Definitely doing some new things, which I always love it when companies are able to do something new, something interesting. I think the ability to turn the display um, so that you can put it on your pedal board in different ways is going to be a huge win for some people. The screen on this thing is really bright and in fact, a few days ago we were playing an outdoor gig in Florida and during sound check the sun was coming right in on the tuner um, and I still had no problem reading it. It's very bright. You can adjust the brightness. I ended up using this pedal in the strobe mode. For me that was a lot easier to get in tune, a lot easier to read and also it's just what I'm used to. The needle mode, um, the needle part up at the top was a little small for me. I wish that that was a little bigger. Um, it was hard to see you know how close to that center line is. Even though it does turn green and you can adjust, um, you know, kind of the uh, when it turns green and all of that in the features, uh, I just would like that to be a little bigger so I could get a, a better feel of where that is. But I had no problem in the strobe mode. I just kind of preferred that and felt like it was easier for me to use. The last thing I'll say is something that I ran into with some acoustic instruments. I've been out with an artist named Crowder and I do a multi-instrumentalist thing. I'm playing all kinds of stuff. But when I was tuning the dobro and my banjo um, while the band was playing, I did notice that this pedal kind of had a hard time reading it. And that's something that I've run into with other tuners. So that's not necessarily specific to this tuner, but some pedals are, some uh, tuner pedals are better or worse at this than others. Um, this one did okay, but it did seem a little more sensitive than what I typically use, uh, the Turbo Tuner from Sonic Research. Um, it just seemed to have a hard time kind of locking on the note if the band was playing, if things were really loud in the room. Um, again, that's something I've run into with other pedals. And because these are acoustic instruments you know the instruments are actually picking up those frequencies they're picking up the sound um, you know through the body through the pickup so in some ways there's not uh, there's not ways to get around that but uh, some pedals are uh, you know some tuners are more or less sensitive to that this again isn't super sensitive, but it is something to think about if you are tuning a lot of uh, acoustic instruments, a lot of instruments that are sensitive to outside noises. That's gonna do it for this one. Thank you to Walrus Audio for sending me their new canvas tuner. I think a lot of you guys are really gonna love this and I would not be surprised to see it on a ton of boards coming up soon. All right, until next time, I'll see you out there.